actually, uh, Julian Jerome has absolutely nothing to do with you other than um, I need a little favor, and I'm thinking you might be the only person that can deliver. I don't mean to be presumptuous. It's just ever since I confided part of that little story okay. to you. Alexis, guys. um, first of all, it's uh, oh. lovely to see you again. Oh, same here. And second, if I can help you with whatever this is, I will. Thank you. You're welcome. So why don't you go ahead and start from the beginning? The very beginning? Why not? Okay. Um, well, I was 16 years old, and I uh, met this guy in a bar in New Hampshire, and we so got knocked up in So this has to do with best. Sam's father. Remember him? It's not exactly a story you forget. No kidding. Hmm. Remember? I remembered his name. Uh, through hypnosis. His name, Julian. Julian Jerome. Okay. You don't think that this is more than a coincidence that all of a sudden I remember this name Julian from my past and then now the name Julian is brought up in the present? I mean, it makes you wonder if maybe this guy is one and the same. I can explain everything, but you're not gonna like it. Rise, well, it's real intuitive of you, Maxie. On what planet, on what planet do you think that we like any of this? You're angry. Is that what it is, Spinelli? Do you think this is anger? I don't, I don't know if it quite covers it. I understand. Do you? Do you understand what's going on? But if you just hear Maxie and, 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 and myself out... No, it... Spinelli. This is on me and no one else. One of you better start talking. Do you remember on New Year's Eve when that dog showed up? Yeah, of course you do. You tripped over the thing. We showed up at your house to check in on you. You weren't there. The place was empty and you, Spinelli, showed up about 10 minutes later. Yeah, you said that there was nothing to worry about. You said that everything was fine. I had a miscarriage. What? I lost your baby. <gasps> My mother is crazy. Certifiably, undeniably crazy. Who knows what she did with him? We'll find out, Britt, I promise. Uh, wait, who are, who are you calling? Anna Devane. Oh, you can't, what? you can't Brit, do give that. Me the I never noticed that Patrick was still wearing his wedding. It just it never occurred to me to look. Oh. I don't think it occurred to him either until someone pointed it out. He couldn't take it off, Duke, because he can't commit to a life without Robin. But you've encouraged him? Yes, of course. I was telling him that, you know, he needs to do this for Sabrina's sake. But... But what? Who am I to tell him what to do? Who am I to tell him to move forward with his life when I'm having as hard a time doing it myself? I think about it. I think about it constantly. I think about I think about, about her in my memories. I think about her now. In the present. I walk past a window and I'll see a dress. And I'll think, oh, that's her style, she would love that dress. And I go into the shop, you know, and with the intention of picking it up. And then it hits me. She's never gonna spin around in that dress. Because she's not here. Anna. I know I have to accept it. I get that. And I tell myself that I accept it. But it's just so hard to believe that she's not alive. I just feel as if she's alive. Like she's just out there somewhere in the world. Accepting that someone's really truly gone. I've been there. Mm -hmm. It's brutal. To this day, it's still difficult for me to think of life without my mother. So I'm doomed, is that what you're saying? I'm saying that the love never goes away. And it shouldn't. You are being too kind. You're letting me off the hook because what I'm doing is not fair. What are you doing? A year and a half, and I'm still wearing my wedding ring. Why, why do you think you haven't been able to take it off? I don't know. I guess because if it's 
Still on my finger, I can hold on to the fantasy that Robin might still be alive. Ta-da. What is that? Something I think you might find very motivating. Why don't you just ever say what you mean? It is the DVD of the 2013 General Hospital Nurses Ball. <laughs> Nurses Ball? But the board was always saying there wasn't enough money. Well, there nearly wasn't. Ms. Co. et al. Wait. <laughs> Hold on a second. Lucy? She came back for the ball? Yes, and then apparently for good. So that they did find the funding. Oh, blast. Anonymity is overrated. Yes! It was me! <laughs> I paid for the whole affair out of my very deep pockets. Why would you do that? Well, on a global note, HIV AIDS is a vicious, terrible, and unnecessary disease that should be eradicated. On a personal note, I was concerned about your health. I am healthy. Thanks to me. I've provided you with cocktail, haven't I? Made you take it every day. Yeah, so I don't croak before I finish your cure. Just do me a favor, okay? And don't pretend that you actually care about my well-being. I've provided you with something that uh, was a reminder of what's waiting for you at home. So, do you want to see it or not? 